Hi, I'm Madam Pamita, and this is Madam Pamita's Fortune Emporium. You can find me online at madampamita.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to dress a spell candle. So these are the things that you're going to need. First, you're going to need a small piece of paper and a pencil. You'll need a candle, of course, and you'll need some dressing oil, some matches, a candle holder, and something to snuff out your candle with. Now, of course, the most important thing is the candle. So in looking at that, you want to choose a candle that has the correct color and possibly even the correct um, energy for what it is that you want to do. I, I sell beautiful candles that are um, associated with um, different intentions. For example, this is a true love candle, but there's other ones for grand success, for energy purification, and for prosperity and so forth. So in choosing those candles, you're choosing something that is a tool that already has the intention that you want to work with. This one, for example, is a true love candle. So we'll be doing a little love spell today. Um, in working with the candle, the very first thing that you want to do is get your intention very clear. And that's what this piece of paper for is for. This is for um, writing your intention. And you're going to write down on this piece of paper what it is that you want this spell candle to do. So I'm going to write down for my true love candle that um, my love grows, that my love with my beloved grows deeper and stronger. Okay, after you've written that intention out, you've got, your, um, you've got your idea in your head of what it is that you're going to use this candle for. The next step is to prepare the candle. And so you'll get your candle. If there's a wrapper, of course, you'll take the wrapper off that candle. And you're going to use that pencil again. And this time you're going to inscribe in the candle wax itself what your intention is or what it is that you want. So you can write somebody's name. You can write um, the key words of your uh, intention that you wrote on the paper. So in my case, I'm writing the words true love, growing. Let's add that. So I'm inscribing that. You can write the name of the person, as I said, if there's somebody, or, or if you're trying to attract a love in and you're not having a specific person in mind, you can say, bring in my true love. If you're doing a money spell, you can uh, ask for a specific amount of money, or you can ask for more prosperity. So once you've inscribed it, you're ready for the next step, and that's dressing the candle. Here I'm using uh, Love Me Oil. This Love Me Oil is uh, made by Lucky Mojo Curio Company, and you can find them at luckymojo.com. These oils are made um, with real essential oils and real herbs and have the... Um, Again, the vibration, just like my candles, they have the vibration of your intention. So I put a couple drops of oil into my hand, and then I'm going to uh, rub it around a little bit. And then I'm going to apply that oil to the candle. Now, because I'm doing a spell to bring something in, I'm going to apply that oil going in an upward motion. If I was doing a spell for clearing out something, clearing out some negativity, um, doing some kind of work of um, removing something, then I would apply it in a downward motion. But since we're bringing in love, we're not driving love away, we want to apply it in an upward motion. Now your candle is dressed. So the next step is to put your candle in your candle holder. I like to use a candle holder that is um, in a corresponding color to the work that I'm doing. So because we're working with love, of course, red, red, pink are the colors that you want to work with. So I've got a red candle holder here. The next thing I'm going to do is take my intention paper. I'm going to fold it toward myself, turn it to the right, fold it toward myself again, and then I'm going to place my candle holder on top of that intention paper. Finally, I'm going to light my candle. So I'm going to say my words of intention. My intention, my spell today, is that my love grows truer, stronger, and deeper. and then we light the candle. The spell is cast. Now, when you are um, 
you want to let your candle burn and burn whenever you're in the room or you're nearby to attend to it. But of course, there's going to be a time that you have to go to sleep or you have to leave to go to work or leave the house for some reason. And if that's the case, then you're going to want to snuff out your candle. You're going to have to put your candle out. And what you want to do with that is not blow it out, but snuff it out, as I said. So that's why you need something to snuff with. This can be a special snuffer, a special candle snuffer like I have here, or you can use something like a shot glass or a teacup or any kind of thing that will um, cut, cut off the oxygen to the flame. And so you simply go like this to snuff out your candle, and now your candle's out, and you haven't dissipated the energy of your spell. When you come back again, when you come back after leaving or wake up in the morning or um, it's time to light that candle again, just say that intention again. Light your candle and you're ready to go. And that is how you do a spell with a spell candle. My name is Madam Pamita. You can find me. More information about classes that I offer and work that I do, including reading Tarot, by going to find me online at madampamita.com.